Tom Johnson. Thanks for sending your swings in to me. We're going to go ahead and get into about five swing submissions and take a deeper dive into all of them. This player here has a right hand that's working really hard after contact, which I think is kind of creating this pull uh, swing plane, the swing motion. Everything's going to have to be saved with the hands. Um, as well, top of the swing, we have a very flat hip access, meaning there's not a lot of side bend there. And then when we get to impact, it's going to be the same thing. Now, even though you do a great job of holding on and bringing this thing inside, that right hand is taking over. You're standing up, and then you end up swinging out across the golf ball. So probably a lot of golf balls starting out to the left. So I'd much rather see you uh, keep some of that tilt with the hip access axis and see if you can quiet down that right arm from taking over and swinging you so far out there to the left. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Reach out to me and we can uh, take a look at your next version of it. Here's another player. One of the first swing reviews that I ever did said he's having a little bit of problem with some consistency in their contact. First thing, I usually don't like the left heel coming up off the ground so much. And I think this player can mess with their ball position a bit because they come inside the ball, but by the time they get to contact, it's then uh, sweeping across the ball. So I wonder if we stuff that thing a little bit back, further back in the stands, if we can meet up with it a little bit better because you end up hitting it a little bit on the heel and you probably hit a lot of heely uh, slices and maybe even like a pull hook too if you close the face down enough. Because this swing, it has too many good things going on in it to have the kind of inconsistencies that you do. So I'm going to see if we can work a little more on uh, keeping back on it a little bit, keeping that heel down for a little bit longer, and then your left hand is kind of flipping at contact. Next swing here, we have a short arm swing. Um, a player that battles with the hooks a lot. So if you're someone that battles with the hooks and has a short swing, you might want to watch this one. You don't see the player uh, rotate their forearms going into their backswing very much, but they do do a really great job of accomplishing our mission, which is an in-to-out approach into the golf ball with a full extension down the target line. So he d is a great player. I think he's about an eight handicap or so, but he every once in a while will hook it if those hands don't open up a little bit and that club face turns over by the time he gets the impact. That might happen if he gets too far out ahead of it with his body. It might happen if he closes the club face down a little bit. So I'd like to see this player work on opening that club face going back a little bit um, because the positions they hit are superb. And maybe we can increase the consistency of you a little bit. Once that right arm takes over, you can see that's the snap hook happening right there. And this player has a better ball position, so they don't always hit those hooks. Great backyard setup here. I think you're standing a little too close to the golf ball. So I want to see you stand up a little taller, bring those shoulders back a little bit. But the player is going to get a ton of rotation. Look at the hips rip back behind the golf ball here. This is a really good position to be in. The club head is kind of laid off. And then he drops this thing behind him really well but doesn't start to open up his body until much too late. So this club head drops below the plane and is coming very into out, doesn't get a lot of body rotation. So watch how far this ball starts out to the right. That's because he's not swinging the club and turning the club head over at all. He's bringing it from the inside and he's just hitting blocks. This is the definition of a block, right? Stuck inside, very, uh, very steep approach. I mean, while we take a great divot, great compression, we got to see this body start to open up. That's going to allow that club face to turn over and you won't see the ball start so far out there to the right. Other than that, it's a really great swing. I'd love to see what kind of progress you make. Probably like a 7 out of 10. All right, next up is another one of my returning students. Um... They have a really good golf swing. You're very balanced and everything, but I'm drawing some lines here for where he's aiming. I think this club face is out there to the left. His feet and shoulders are out there to the right. And so this swing is kind of a pull because I think you know that you want your target to be out there on that line. And so you'll see the arms kind of come out over this golf ball and he hits a very far pull. And the ball launches out there to the left, even though you know our body was pointed much more out there to the right. 
So it's kind of a cheat code in the game. If you want a little bit more distance, playing a pull is an option for you. Um, but it's a very difficult thing to do uh, consistently and control your distances and things like that. But it's a really good swing. I just rather, I want them to work on their alignment and where that club is swinging. So we can see it working a little bit to the outside there. And the right elbow gets stuck behind them. So the club face turns over and you hit that pull that you're kind of set up for here. Anyway, I hope that review helps a lot. That's about where you would be aiming, but you're where you aren't aiming, but the claw the ball's ending up starting there to the left. Thanks for watching.